hello viewers today in this video we shall learn 50 important one marks from teaching of english in india who is known as the father of modern education in india answer is charles grant who wrote the tract observations on the state of society among the asiatic subjects of great britain in 1792 answer is charles grant who is known as the father of modern education in india charles grant who wrote the tract observations on the state of society among the asiatic subjects of great britain in 1792 answer is charles grant Name the father of modern legal education in India who passed away recently. Answer is N.R. Madhava Manan. Name the father of modern legal education in India who passed away recently. N.R. Madhava Menon. Who introduced Western education in India? Answer is Lord Macaulay. Who advertised the introduction of Western education and English language in India? Raja Ram Mohan Roy. Who introduced Western education in India? Answer is Lord Macaulay. Who advertised the introduction of Western education and English language in India? Raja Ram Mohan Roy. See, Lord Macaulay is the one who is said to have introduced Western education in India. He, in his book Minute Upon Indian Education, opposed the publication of books in Sanskrit and Arabic. And one more thing, East India, uh, India Company decided to promote Western education through English because they thought that the people will become more rational, scientific and educated. And here in the next question about Rajara Mohan Rai, uh, he is also regarded as the father of modern India and he is remembered as founder of Brahma Samaj. Who introduced the English education? Answer is Lord William Penting. Who introduced the English Education Act of 1835? Answer is Lord William Benting. Who introduced the English language? Lord William Benting. Who introduced the English Education Act of 1835? Lord William Benting. See here viewers, the introduction of English education was a significant event of Lord William Benting's administration. He appointed a committee headed by Lord Macaulay to make recommendations for the promotion of education and Benting came up with the one-line approval of this minute. English Education Act 1835 Macaulay submitted his minutes on education on February 2, 1835. Macaulay submitted his Minutes on Education on February 2, 1835. The direct method, also called natural method, was established in Das and Das around 1900. Answer is Germany and France. Who developed direct method? Maximilian Berlitz. The direct method, also called natural method, was established in Das and Das around 1900. Answer is Germany and France. Who developed direct method? Maximilian Berlitz. See here viewers, the direct method appeared as an answer. Okay, appeared as an answer uh, to the shortcomings and the dissatisfaction of uh, the grammar translation method. It is also known as conversational method. See, let's learn few important characteristics of uh, direct method. Classroom instruction was conducted in the target language. There was an inductive approach to grammar. Concrete vocabulary was target 
through pictures and sorry was taught through pictures and objects while abstract vocabulary was taught by association of ideas who adapted or developed the bilingual method of foreign language teaching in 1967 as a counterpart of the audio visual method cj dotson who adapted or developed the bilingual method of foreign language teaching in 1967 as a counterpart of the audio visual method answer is cj dotson what method of teaching foreign languages is based on behaviorist theory answer is audio lingual method otherwise known as army method or new key who believed learning structure or grammar was the starting point for the student charles carpenter fries what method of teaching foreign languages is based on behaviorist theory the answer is the audio lingual method army method or new key here viewers let's learn a few characteristics of audio lingual method dependence on mimicry and memorization of set phrases teaching structural patterns by means of repetitive drills no grammatical explanation learning vocabulary in context focus on pronunciation immediate reinforcement of correct responses okay see here about uh, charles uh, carpenter fries uh, uh, he was an american structural linguist and language teacher and he is sometimes considered the creator of the rl oral method also called audio lingual method who coined the term audio lingualism answer is nelson brooks expand astp army specialized training program who coined the term audio lingualism answer is nelson brooks expand astp army specialized training program see here viewers audio lingual method alm started after uh, world war second in usa it appeared as a response to direct method first used in national defense language college usa nelson brooks coined it in 1964 and claimed to have transformed language teaching from art into science who propounded the three circle method of uh, uh, sorry the three circle model of world englishes in 1988 brach kachru who propounded the three circle model of world englishes in 1988 brach kachru see here viewers the three circles are the inner circle like usa uk and canada the outer circle like india pakistan and egypt and the expanding circle like china russia and brazil who stated principles of the structural approach answer is professor f g french according to das anyone who can read english can keep in touch with the whole world without leaving his own home answer is f g french who stated principles of the structural approach answer is professor f g french according to das anyone who can read english can keep in touch with the whole world without leaving his own home f g french um here uh, in this uh, structural approach there are four kinds of structures okay namely sentence patterns uh, phrase patterns formulas and idioms grammar translation method was also called classical method since it was used in the teaching of the classical language das and das answer is latin and greek 
Grammar translation method was also called classical method since it was used in the teaching of the classical languages dash and dash. Answer is Latin and Greek. Viewers, here the grammar translation method also called Prussian method because it was the first country to adopt the grammar translation method. And one more thing. Let's learn the few characteristics of uh, grammar translation method GTM. The main purpose of this method is to learn a language in order to read its literature to benefit from the mental discipline and intellectual improvement. As far as skills are concerned, reading and writing skills are more focused than listening and speaking. It focuses on the accuracy of grammar and translation. In GTM, teacher uh, teaches the grammar rules and gives examples. Who called English? I mean, a window on the modern world and a key that would unlock the vast process of all scientific and humanistic fields. Answer is Jawaharlal Nehru. Who called English a window on the modern world and a key that would unlock the vast process of all scientific and humanistic fields? Answer is Jawaharlal Nehru. The Education Commission pleaded by DAS stressed the need for studying English as a compulsory subject to acquire at least a working knowledge of English. Answer is DGS uh, Kothari. The Education Commission pleaded by DAS stressed the need for studying English as a compulsory subject to acquire at least a working knowledge of English. Answer is DGS Kothari. Who says language learning is essentially a habit forming process? Answer is Palmer. Who initially adopted the substitution method? Answer is Palmer. Who says language learning is essentially a habit forming process? Answer is Palmer. Who initially adapted the substitution method? Palmer. Answer is Palmer. Who stated that language is a skill which depends on a continuous practice? Answer is Thondike. Who stated that language is a skill which depends on a continuous practice? Answer is Thondike. Who defined language as a purely human and non-instinctive method of communicative ideas, uh, emotions and desires by means of a system of voluntarily reduced symbols? Answer is Edward Sapir. Who defined language as a purely a uh, human and non-instinctive method of communicative ideas, emotions and desires by means of a system of voluntarily reduced symbols. Answer is Edward Sapir. According to DAS and DAS, the four specific aims of teaching English are to understand spoken English, to speak English, to understand written English, to write English. Answer is Thompson and Wyatt. According to Das and Das 1952, the four specific aims of teaching English are to understand spoken English, to speak English, to understand written English, to write English. Answer is Thompson and Wyatt. What method makes use of Audiovisual aids since language is taught through demon demonstrations. Answer is direct method. What method makes use of audiovisual aids since language is taught through demonstrations? Answer is direct method. In education, DAS are objects from real life used in classroom instruction by educators to prove. Uh, to improve students' understanding of other cultures and real-life situations? Answer is Realia. In education, DAS are objects from real life 
used in classrooms instru instruction by educators to improve students' understanding of other cultures and real life situations. Answer is realia. See here, viewers, realia means objects and material from everyday life used as teaching aids and it is not a way for creating situation in a classroom. Who adapted the substitution table method? Answer is H.E. Palmer. Answer is H.E. Palmer. See here, H.E. stands for Harold E. Okay, Harold E. Palmer. There are DAS official languages of the UN, United Nations. Answer is 6. They are Arabic, Chinese, English, French, Russian and Spanish. Who adapted the substitution table method? Answer is uh, H.E. Palmer. There are DAS official languages of the United Nations. 6. They are Arabic, Chinese, English, French, Russian and Spanish. DAS and DAS are neglected by the direct method of teaching English. Answer is reading and writing. Official Languages Act is on DAS 10th May 1963. English is an official language of administration which has been granted by an Act of Parliament in 1963. DAS and DAS are neglected by the direct method of teaching English reading and writing. The Official Languages Act is on DAS. Answer is 10th May 1963. English is an official language of administration which has been granted by an Act of Parliament in 1963. Dr. West new method of teaching English uh, new method of teaching English approached the problem of teaching English not from the standpoint of pedagogy but from the standpoint of DAS. Answer is social needs of the Indian people. Who produced the reading scheme? The new method readers. Answer is Michael Philip West. Dr. West new method of teaching English approached the problem of teaching English not from the standpoint of pedagogy but from the standpoint of DAS, social needs of the Indian people. Who produced the reading scheme, the new method readers? Answer is Michael Philip West. See here viewers, Dr. West holds the Indian boys need most of all, to, uh, most of all uh, to be able to read English than to write it and lastly to speak it and underst understood it when spoken. According to him, it is easy to acquire a reading knowledge of your language than to acquire a speaking. Okay? DAS is a method used in examining language in very detailed manner, structural approach. DAS is a method used in examining language in a very detailed manner, answer is structural approach. The silent way is a language, okay, uh, teaching is a language teaching approach created by DAS, answer is Gallup. Uh, Gattagno. Gattagno introduced the method in DAS in his book uh, Teaching Foreign Languages in Schools the Silent Way. Answer is 1963. The Silent Way is a language teaching approach created by DAS. Answer is Caleb Gattagno. Gattagno introduced the method in DAS uh, in which year? In his book Teaching foreign languages in schools the silent way. Answer is 1963. Viewers, uh, this approach makes extensive use of silence as a teaching method. Who stated grammar is not a code of rules, it is like adequate and a table manners? Answer is Dr. West. Grammar is the practical analysis of your language. It's its anatomy answer dr west grammar is the body of empirical rules which explain and regulates the structures of the sentences 
answer is Gordon who stated grammar is not a code of rules it is like adequate and table manners answer is Dr. West grammar is the practical analysis of a language its anatomy answer is Dr. West grammar is a body of empirical rules which explain and regulates the structures of the sentences answer is Gordon Who was the founder structural grammar? Okay, who was the founder of structural grammar? Answer is American linguistic professor C. C. Fries. Who published the book The Structure of English in 1952? Charles Carpenter Fries. C. C. Fries. Who was the founder structural grammar? American linguistic professor C. C. Fries. Who published the book? The Structure of English in 1952, Charles Carpenter Fries. Neuro Linguistic Programming NLP, is a pseudo scientific approach to communication, personal development, and psychotherapy created by Das and Das in California, United States in the 1970s. Answer is Richard Bandler and John Grinder. Neuro-Linguistic Programming NLP is a pseudo-scientific approach to communication, a personal development and psychotherapy created by Das and Das in California, United States in the 1970s. Richard Bandler and John Grinder. Viewers, uh, here see Neuro-Linguistic Program Headquarters is also available in Chennai. When was English teaching started in India? Answer is 1835. When did schools start teaching English? By the mid 1920s. When was English teaching started in India? Answer is 1835. When did schools start teaching English? By the mid 1920s. The history of English language teaching starts from Das. 16th century worldwide who wrote the book the english schoolmaster familiar dialogues in 1586 jocks ballot jocks ballot the history of english language teaching starts from das 16th century worldwide who wrote the book the english schoolmaster familiar dialogues in 1586 Answer is J Jack's Ballot. Who founded Fort William College at Kolkata on 10th July 1800? Answer is Lord Wellesley. Central Institute of English and Foreign Language was established in DAS in 1958. Answer is Hyderabad. Who founded Fort William College at Kolkata on 10th July 1800? Answer is Lord Wellesley. See here viewers, the main purpose of establishing this college was to teach Indian languages to British officers to make the administration smooth and swift. Central Institute of English and, English and Foreign Language was established in DAS in 1958. Hyderabad answer is Hyderabad the first English language teaching institute ELTI had been established in DAS in 1954 with the collaboration of the British Council answer is Allahabad the first English language teaching institute ELTI had been established in DAS in 1954 with the collaboration of the British Council. Answer is Allahabad. Who has been an educational reformer in India from 1827 to 1838? Answer is Charles Edward Trevelyan. Who wrote the book on the education of the people of India in 1838? Answer is Trevelyan. Who has been an educational reformer in India from 1827 to 1838? Answer is Charles Edward Trevelyan. 
who wrote the book on the education of the people of india in 1838 answer is trivelian see here viewers he gave i mean trivelian gave a budget of 1 lakh rupees a year for focusing education in indian tradition and his function of english education was to close the cultural gap between the indians and their rulers i mean britishers and trivelian saw indian native people in an advanced state of moral and intellectual decay who was appointed as the chairman of gcpa general committee of public instruction 1833 Charles Edward Trevelyan According to him dance was just an ocean of words with no influx of ideas Answer is Indian education Who was appointed as the chairman of GCPA General Committee of Public Instruction in 1833 Answer is Charles Edward Trevelyan According to him dance was just an ocean of words with no influx of ideas answer is indian education when was the central institute of english cie founded in hyderabad 1958 when was it renamed the central institute of english and foreign languages cifl in 1972 When was it renamed the English and Foreign Languages University? Okay, you flew. Answer is two no. I mean two thousand six. When was the Central Institute of English (CIE) founded in Hyderabad? Nineteen fifty-eight. When was it renamed the Central Institute of English and Foreign Languages (CIFL)? Answer is nineteen seventy-two. When was it renamed the English and Foreign Languages University? A flu. Answer is two thousand six. Late in the dance, the classical method came to be known as the grammar translation method. Answer is nineteenth century. Who introduced the grammar translation method? G T M. Answer is Professor Karl Plotz. Late in the dance, the classical method came to be known as the grammar translation method. Answer is nineteenth century. Who introduced the grammar translation method? G T M. Answer is Professor Karl Plotz. See here, viewers. G T M is one of the oldest teaching methods of S L A. The strategies were based on learning the uh, strict rules of grammar of the target language to compare the syntax of the nat- native and target language and to extract uh, specific sentences or paragraphs to be translated back and forth. In this the art of learning and studying foreign languages Uh, 1880 who described his harrowing experiences of learning german answer is franco is win win who posited direct method charles berlitz in this the art of learning and studying foreign languages 1880 who inter- who described his harrowing experiences of learning german franco is win See here, uh, this method helped him uh, gain insights into the intricacies of language teaching and learning. Okay, as far as Franco is uh, Gwyn concerned, and another one who posited direct method, Charles Berlitz. See here. the basic tenet of berlitz method was that second language learning is similar to the first language learning new method the army method which came to be known in the dance as the audio lingual method answer is 1950s new method the army method which came to be known in the Das as the audio lingual method 1950s 
the designer methods started in the dash 1970s who stated designer methods on the grounds that they took a one size fits all answer is david newnan uh, during a 1989 to 97 the designer methods started in the dash 1970s who stated designer methods on the grounds that they took a one size fits all answer is david newnan during 1989 uh, to 97 see in the previous question new method actually new methods were proposed and attempted to capitalize on the importance of psychological factors in language learning dash promised great results if we use our brain power and inner capacities answer is suggestopedia in whose method music played a pivotal role answer is lozanov dash promised great results if we use our brain power and inner capacities answer is suggestopedia in whose method music played a pivotal role answer is lozanov see here viewers lozanov and his followers try to present vocabulary readings role plays and dramas with the classical music okay uh, in the background and students sitting in comfortable seats in this way students became suggestible who held that uh, view that the silent way is in learners best interest to develop independence and autonomy and cooperate with other in solve in uh, solving i mean in problem solving i mean in solving language problems answer is gatagno 1972 who held the view that the silent way uh, is in learners best interest to develop independence and autonomy and cooperate with each other in solving language problems answer is gatagno 1972 here the silent way rested on cognitive rather than affective arguments and was characterized by a problem solving approach to learning strategies based instruction the work of dash and dash 1990 and others before and after them emphasized the importance of style awareness and strategy development in ensuring mastery of a foreign language answer is o malay and chimot the work of dash and dash 1990 and others before and after them emphasized the importance of style awareness and strategy development in ensuring mastery of a foreign language answer is o malay and chimot dash is not a method it is an approach which transcends the boundaries of concrete methods and tanka i mean concomitantly techniques okay concomitantly means uh, at the same time answer is communicative language teaching das is not a method it is an approach which transcends the boundaries of concrete methods and con- concomitantly techniques concomitantly uh, techniques answer is communicative language teaching the oral approach or situational language teaching is an approach developed by das applied linguist between the 1930s and 1960s answer is british textbooks such as das hartley and viney 1979 was designed following the slt approach principles answer is streamline english the oral approach or situational language teaching is an approach developed by das applied linguist between the 1930s and 1960s answer is british applied linguist textbooks such as 
dash Hartley and Viney 1979 was designed following the SLT approach principles. Answer is Streamline English. The General Committee of Public Instruction was appointed on 17th July 1823. Expand LIP Limited English Proficient or Limited English Proficiency the general committee of english instruction I mean, general committee of public instruction was appointed on 17th july 1823 expand lip limited english proficient or limited english proficiency who wrote the book humanism in language teaching answer is earl w stevick who wrote the humanistic theory answer is abraham Maslow. Who wrote the book Humanism in Language Teaching? Answer is Earl W. Stevick. Who wrote the Humanistic Theory? Abraham Maslow. Here viewers, Humanistic Language Teaching is an approach uh, based on the principle that the whole being, emotional and social needs to be engaged in learning, not just the mind. A technologically enhanced, uh, most computer-based learning env environment combining different types of media is called DAS. Answer is Multimedia-based learning. A technologically enhanced, mostly computer-based learning environment combining different types of media is called DAS. Multimedia-based learning. Constructivist approach to language learning promote DAS, child-centered approach. Drilling is a teaching learning techniques or a strategy in DAS, structuralism. Construct constructivist approach to language learning promote DAS, child-centered approach. Du uh, drilling is a teaching uh, learning techniques or a strategy in DAS, structuralism. See here viewers, constructivism is a language theory to help the students in constructing something based on their own understanding. It emphasizes in students' role than the teacher. And here, learning is an active process in which learners construct new ideas or concepts based upon their current and past knowledge. And uh, next one, who played an important role in spreading English learning and female education in India? Answer is Sir Charles Wood. Uh, he was the president of the board of control. Who played an important role in spreading English learning and female education in India? Sir Charles Wood. He was the president of the board of control. Here viewers, when in 1854, Sir Charles Wood sent a dispatch to Lord Dalhousie, the then Governor General of India, Wood suggested that primary schools must adopt vernacular languages, high schools must adopt Anglo vernacular languages, and at college level, English should be the medium of education. And uh, thank you viewers for your uh, kind listening. If this video is really helpful for your studies, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can uh, view the upcoming videos as soon as I update. Thank you. I hope that uh, you will uh, subscribe my channel. Thank you.